So hey guys, in this video, we'll be discussing the control system block diagram direction loop number two. So number two, we are having here four blocks in series. So when are the blocks are in series or we can call it as cascade cascade and series means the same okay so what will happen what we have to do what will be the output let us discuss so r1 is the reference input which is going here and it is again one gain block is there so this transfer function g1 so it will get multiplied so what will be the output over here it will be r of s the input into g1 now it is going again here g2 has come so again it will get multiplied right so r of s g1 then g2 now again g3 has come so r of s g1 g2 g3 so all the things are get, getting multiplied so we have reached the output c of s so we can write the output is nothing but r of s into g1 g2 g3 right or in other words we can say just shift r of s downwards that is nothing but bring it to the left side equal to g1 g2 g3 so all the blocks are been multiplied observe carefully it is been multiplied so in this law we can say that whenever the blocks are in series series means directly connected to each other so whenever the blocks or whenever the transfer functions are directly connected to each other so we can say that it is in series and we have to just multiply the blocks in order to get the output okay so this this we can represent like this r of s input one block is there so these three blocks were there now it will be reduced to one block which is having g1 g2 g3 as the transfer function output will be c of s so this has been simplified into this simpler version where whenever you see the blocks in series you have to just multiply okay now here one complicated thing here it is that if you see this example this is very very important example so here as i said before in this case what is happening this is a case we have where we have to see we have to see whether this we can consider as series or not observe this part only this part this portion so in this control system part this is the r of s signal here c of s is their output here g1 is there g2 is there one takeoff point has come here will represent as one dot okay takeoff point we'll call it as takeoff point this takeoff point has come over here so whether i can consider g1 g2 g3 as series or not no absolutely not you cannot consider this as series because here takeoff point has come so always remember that the this law is applicable or we can say that you have to observe carefully the control system which are in series there shouldn't be any takeoff point or we can say that summing point also so if you observe one control system where r of s where r of s is a this thing input signal here g1 is there observe here one summing point has come then g2 then output okay like this one system is there now if you observe g1 and g2 cannot be in series why because in between they are not directly connected in between one person has come one block has come that is nothing but the summing point right so this block has come so we can cannot call it these two blocks are in series so they are not in series okay so in series case always remember if takeoff point or summing point is there between the blocks so we cannot call that two blocks as in series so but g1 and g2 in between there is no other thing so we can directly write as g1 g2 as one block because in series this has to be multiplied but g1 g2 is not in series with g3 so i cannot directly multiply so in this case what you will do in this case you have to either shift this takeoff point before this block so let me show you that also so either this takeoff point can be shifted to here before g1 or this takeoff point can be shifted after g3 so if i shift before g1 it will be like this takeoff point is here then g1 will come 
then G2 will come, then G3 will come. So takeoff point has gone, right? It has come before this G1 block. Now these three are in series because these are directly connected. What happens if I shift to this takeoff point to the right side? So what will happen? R of S is an input, G1 is here, G2 is here, then G3 is here. After this, the takeoff point will come, then the output. Okay, so takeoff point has been shifted. These three are directly connected. These three we can see it as these are in series. You can just reduce it and write it as G1, G2, G3. Here also G1, G2, G3. But the thing is that if takeoff point is there or the summing point, even if the summing point is there, you have to shift to that first. So in order to shift, you cannot simply shift and keep there. It is not like that. For that also we have rule. Takeoff point before the block, after the block, we have rule. That rule we'll be discussing in the upcoming session.